Greetings, everyone, from the Lewis family. We are so touched that you've asked us to say a few words and comments during your celebration of life celebration for our father, Delano Del Lewis. So, so thank you for, for, for doing this. I would like to thank uh, Peter and Judy uh, Jablo for the, putting on this wonderful uh, event that you guys are experiencing and allow me to say a few words via video message. So I really appreciate that. For those who do or do not know me, uh, I am Jeffrey Lewis, and I am the second son out of Delano and Gail's four boys. And uh, and we just had a pleasure just sort of uh, uh, really uh, working and in, 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 in growing up with our parents. They've been absolutely amazing. Um, so one of the things I just wanted to do is just want to give you a few thoughts of, of, of where we are and to, and to say thank you for, for doing the celebration of life uh, for my dad. Uh, it's been indeed a pleasure on behalf of the family. I just wanted to say thank you guys for doing this. Um, uh, on behalf of my mother, Gail Lewis, uh, and my older brother, uh, Dell Jr. and his wife, Jackie, uh, and uh, my brother, Brian, uh, and my brother, Phil uh, Lewis, and his wife, Megan. And of course, my wonderful, wonderful wife, uh, Lisa. Uh, we just wanna say thank you guys for, for putting this on. I believe you're viewing this. Uh, it is now November 12th, 2023. That day is actually going to be, would be, would have been my father's 85th birthday today. And so it's just so fitting that we're doing all this together on this day. Um, and he, you know, as you know, he loves celebrations and love and love parties. Uh, so this is, it's, it's totally fitting. Um, so I know you guys got some great stories uh, about my father. Uh, I know Peter does for sure. Peter and I had a chance to chat for a little bit and uh, it was great to reminisce with him about my dad and all the things that, that everybody sort of uh, had with him. Um, but I just wanted to say that I probably the one that's been more truly blessed uh, because uh, you know several, several years ago, I brought my father out of retirement and the two of us have been running a consulting firm uh, pretty successfully uh, for a long time. So I've actually had the chance to work with my father day to day, know him in and out. Uh, and it's just been absolutely amazing uh, of what I've learned from him and what he has learned from me. Uh, and we've worked really, really well, uh, great as a team. So I, I really do kind of miss that right now. Um, but uh, it, it's great to know that he's always looking down on me. Uh, and, and I just, it's just absolutely amazing to know that feeling. Um, I also want to just sort of say that out of all of my father's illustrious career, which has been amazing, amazing to follow, amazing to watch, but I got to tell you the one thing that was totally, totally special in his heart was his time at NPR. Uh, he talked he talked about it constantly, and he talked about all the challenges he faced at NPR, and he also ch uh, talked about all the successes he had at NPR. And um, you know, I, I, he would probably agree with me 100% when I say this because he's actually said this to me as well that he would have not has been as successful as he was at NPR without surrounding him around good and talented people. And that is all of you right there today. And uh, you, you guys are the one that made him successful. Uh, and, and, and I know that for a fact. So I, I want to say personally, thank you. Thank you for doing that. And, uh, and I'm sure he's saying the exact same thing. Now, uh, before I close out my video, there is one thing I do want to kind of talk about one quick story that will actually help wrap up how I'd like to end this video. Um, and it's a story that I remember that my father and I talked about uh, several times when we we're doing our trips together and we we're, we we're doing a lot of things. And uh, it was a story where uh, we uh, had dinner at the Jablos. Now, mind you, here it is. Uh, it is my father, me, and my brother, Brian, were invited over to the Jablos for dinner. And this probably, oh, God, got to be going about 10 years ago. And so we were at dinner and we had a great dinner. And of course, we're all sitting around the kitchen table and we're just talking and, you know, everything else. And, you know, Peter does what Peter does best. 
He loves to open up a conversation, no matter what it is, and start to get everybody's thoughts on it. And it's just amazing. So you can hear this. This is Peter now. And somehow the topic got on religion. So Peter, you know, kind of leans in. So Jeff, Brian, you know, out of, out of all your brothers, who do you guys think is probably the most religious in your family? Funny thing was, my father's the first one who spoke up and said, I can tell you who it is. And he said, it's Jeff. And then my brother Brian kind of looked over and chimed in and said, yep, it's definitely Jeff. And then so as we started talking, Peter did finally met and he said, you know what, Brian, I don't know you as well as I know Jeff, but I can tell you, I can see it big time. So I say that to say, folks, that I, I'm very, very blessed to tell you that I, I am an ordained pastor now. Uh, Lisa and I moved to Las Cruces, New Mexico to be closer to my parents about four years ago. And during that time, uh, I was already an ordained minister. I actually started to co-pastor a small church in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And it's been an unbelievable fulfillment for me as I'm as I, we're doing other things as well. So, um, and, and so much so that I've actually been accepted and I'm going now through a doctorate program uh, in theology and ministry. Uh, and, and I'm so, so happy that I'm going through this. So um, anyway, I just wanted to say, number one, thank you all for being there today. Thank you all for really helping my father and, and, and being there for him and helping him and just being with him as, as he went through his career. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. So I would like, if you don't mind, to end with a prayer of celebration from my father. And I hope you, you can uh, um, uh, indulge me in doing so. So if we could, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are here today to celebrate the life of Delano Lewis, a man who touched the hearts of all who had privilege of knowing him. As we reflect on his life, we give thanks for the love, wisdom, and compassion he shared with his family and friends. He was a source of strength and inspiration. May we continue to honor his memory by living our lives with the same grace and dignity that he exemplified. As we stay, say our final farewells, we give thanks for the gift of his life and the impact he made on this world. We celebrate the love, the laughter, the wisdom he shared with us and commitment to carrying forward his legacy through his sons, his daughters-in-law, his 11 grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. We give thanks to you in your name during this time of remembrance. Amen. God bless you all, and thank you so much.